You had to wait because you're the rookie, is that it? For me? Nah, he a rookie, man. You know how, you know. <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> Last week, been like everybody's kind of singing your praise now. It's kind of a, you know a big change from three, four weeks ago. It seems like. Uh, I mean, it's been the same for me. You know, come in every day, work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, put it all out there. One of the stranger weeks you've had because you played great in the game, but also had that, you know, the incident you would like to have back. Is that one of the weirder games and weirder weeks that you've had coming out? Nah, don't nobody really make a, uh, you know, nothing out of it but the media. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, um, we just ready for the next game. You know, we getting ready for LA Rams. You know, playing 48 hours. So, you know, that's pretty much everybody focused right now. We're not worried about the pass, you know. What if, looking forward to this game, what have your teammates told you about Jalen Ramsey, a guy you've not gone against, really good corner, but also kind of a pest? I mean, there's not really much they really got to say. You know, I, I grew up. You know, kind of not grew up, but like the past years, I've known about rounds of myself, so it, it ain't really a lot that they had to, you know, tell me already. Can he cover you? I mean, I mean, it's football. Everybody had their own plays and their off plays, so I mean, you know, it's, it's equal when you step on the field, you know. Do you go into a game aware that a guy like that is going to try to get under your skin, particularly because, you know, you're younger and obviously you had the incident last week, so he's probably try to feed off of that, and he's that kind of player generally. Do you go in, you know, with a mentality that you're not going to let him get under your skin? Like how does that, you know, what's your, what's your mindset going up against a guy like that who you? I mean, my, nah, my mindset always positive. I mean, if that's what he want to do, I mean, that's just what he going to do. I mean, if he going to try, you know, you know, I would attempt, but you, you can't always, you know, get the result that you want out of it. But, you know, I just, like I said, learned the process last week. So, I mean, shouldn't expect anything like that from me. So. How much do you expect him to try that? Uh, I really don't know. You know, I can't control nobody else do you know it's not a game and then so I don't really know when uh, a guy does talk a lot of trash to you in the field do you find it better to just say nothing no nah, I'm a silent assassin I don't talk to nobody on the field so we forgot serious question when you're healthy has there ever been a corner who has locked you down like going back to Florida high school while well, you're quarterback in high school I'll say yeah, I played quarterback up until I got to Florida but uh, I mean he's always great competition out there so I mean it's not nobody that's that's locked me up and it's had anybody that I haven't been able to get open on, you know. It's always been 50-50, like no matter who I played against. I mean, you know, everybody had their up, their up plays and their down plays, you know, stuff like that. Guy talks a lot of trash to you, you don't respond generally? Yeah, like if I wasn't here, we was talking, I wouldn't probably talk to you neither, but you know. <laughs> That's okay, my, my wife says the same thing. So, uh, so uh, how, how does that work? Uh, you know, just a follow up. Uh, does that kind of shut that guy down, uh, or does he I keep mean, going? Does it frustrate him when you don't respond? You know what I'm saying? It's typ I mean, typically a person would probably get mad, but I mean, they're just the person I am. I'm not going to talk to you, you know what I'm saying, regardless. If I don't have to talk to you, I'm not going to talk to you. So We don't talk to him either, by the way. So. <laughs> there was a moment when, when Daniel had to go off on the card. It looked like you realized, I don't know if you realized it later or what, but sprinting from the sideline to make sure you said something. Yeah, that's my yeah, that's my brother. That, that's my dog, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, like, when, if he hurt, I'm hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, that really kind of made me go harder, you know, just knowing that, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't able to, you know what I'm saying, do what he'll normally do, like, contribute as much as he can. Like, it just just put another chip on my shoulder. Like, I already come in with one. It just added another one in. You know, I had to go check on my brother at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all for one, one for all, you know. I mean, it didn't look kind of scary. He was wobbling and stuff. And, you know, it, at that point, it would have been hard to imagine maybe he's going to play this week. Now it looks like he may well play. What would what would it mean to you guys to have him back so quickly, And you know, after what you saw last week? I mean, it'll mean a lot. I mean, it'll, I mean, he basically put the team on his shoulders at times, you know. So, I mean, that's that's always encouraging when a guy like that be able to step back out down the field and contribute as much as he can, you know. What, what is exciting What is exciting about when they give you the ball in your hands as a quarterback, whether it's Wildcat or in New Orleans they give you a chance to throw? Like, How is that different for you as a playmaker than catching the ball down the field? Uh, I would say it's all football to me, but uh, I mean, you know, I play quarterback, so I'm used to having the ball in my hand, having to make decisions and stuff like that, so it's not really much of a big deal to me, you know, just what I do, you know. How important will it be to get Daniel back as your, as your you know, starting quarterback? Hold on, say it again. How important will it be to, to be able to get him back if he 
you know, does get cleared and he can play. How important is that for you guys? I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's pivotal, you know what I'm saying, in a lot of ways. But at the end of the day, we still have guys that can step up. You know, Daniel, he just – he, he makes sure everybody prepared, no matter if he's playing or he's not playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when he was concussed, he came up to me right after, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? When I sent him in the locker room, like, hey, you feel me? Like, you good or whatever the situation was. Like, trying to always be that person that he always been, no matter if he able to be in a position or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, if, if you are sat down at all at the start of this game, how do you plan to approach that mentally compared to a normal game? Man, at the end of the day, I, at the end of the day, I'm just playing my role. You know, at the end of the day, I'm, you know, I'm not this or that. You know, I was able to go out there and showcase what I could do. But at the end of the day, I'm still a rookie. You know, what I'm saying, it's still a lot that I have to learn. You know, a lot of stuff that I have to overcome. You know, what I'm saying, like stuff like that. So.